In addition to voting for candidates on Election Day, New Yorkers will also decide the fate of three ballot proposals that would amend the city charter. Question one seeks to limit the influence of big money in local elections. Our Bobby Cusa has more details. Many New Yorkers may not know it, but the issue of taxpayer-funded campaigns is on the ballot Tuesday. The voters have a choice on November 6th to vote yes to get big money out of New York City politics. Specifically, they'll have a choice on ballot proposal number one on campaign finance. The proposal would lower contribution limits. For citywide office like mayor, the maximum allowable donation would drop from the current 5100 to 2000 for those opting into the public financing system, 3500 for those outside the system. The proposal would also give New Yorkers seeking to run for office more and easier access to public dollars known as matching funds. Where the current system provides a 6 to 1 match on the first $175 of each small dollar donation, the proposal would provide an 8 to 1 match on the first 250 taking a $250 donation and turning it into an additional 2000 in public funds. People still think that you've got to get money out of politics. And we're making a tremendous drive forward with uh, this initiative. Councilman Ben Kalos, a leading proponent of the change, says you can draw a direct line from campaign donations to issues of overdevelopment and affordability. Uh, you look at the big money in politics in New York City and it's real estate dollars. And I don't think people should have to go to real estate to get money to run for office. It's a good proposal, but its implementation is awful. But at least one skeptic notes the program wouldn't take full effect until after the next citywide election in 2021, when candidates for mayor and other city offices could still choose to operate under the old rules, tilting the playing field in favor of more well-funded candidates. They can choose to be part of the old program or the new program. So that in and of itself creates a real imbalance and an unfairness. Still, the measure has widespread support, including from Mayor de Blasio and a broad coalition of labor, advocacy, and good government groups. The challenge, as evidenced by this public service campaign, is making New Yorkers aware of the issue. Flip your ballot and vote on the issues. Or at least aware of the question. Bobby Cusa, New York One.